Oh. Come on. Okay, so the first question says four isotopes of lead include lead 204. Let me just make sure I got the recorder on. Yep. Lead 204, lead 206, lead 207, and lead 208. First question of the day. What does this number represent? Is the mass number. Okay. And the mass number is equal to the protons and the neutrons. Okay, the average atomic mass of the lead is 207.2. Which isotope, these are all isotopes, this lead, this lead, this lead, and this lead, they're isotopes of each other, is the most abundant, and tell me why. Say it again? Yep, I can. It says, which isotope of lead is likely the most abundant... That's okay. So, all right. So we're gonna go with 207. Eva, why? Because it's closest. To it's closest to the average. Okay. So I'm gonna write closest to the average here. And we'll give a smiley face. All right. What do all isotopes of an element have in common, Lexi? Same number of protons. How else is another way of saying that? Same number of, same atomic number. I don't know how my brain just did that. But I was thinking atomic number and wrote protons and I don't know, it was weird. Okay, explain why, why carbon-14 and, carb and nitrogen-14 are not isotopes different number of protons. So I'm going to write isotopic notation or atomic notation for these carbon-14 and carbon-19. And what I mean by notation is I'm going to write it with the number in the bottom left, which is the 6 for the carbon, because its atomic number is 6. All right, I'll stop right there. Now turn around and shut that light off so I can get rid of that glare. Beautiful. Good job. That was a lot of work to, just to come back from the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so its atomic number is 6. Its mass number is 14. Here we have nitrogen. Its atomic number is 7, and its mass number is 14. So you can see that the two different um, particles here each have different numbers of protons. How many neutrons does this carbon-14 have? Diego, do you know how many neutrons this carbon-14 has? Eight. Good. And what about this car nitrogen-7, Cam? I should say nitrogen-14, not nitrogen-7, sorry. <coughs> Before you go digging through your notes, stop right there. Let's, turn, let's, let's think about this. What does this bottom number represent? Can you not see back there? Okay. So, what does this bottom number represent? Say it loud. Protons. Good. And what does this top number represent? Ask your friend Sean right next to you. Maybe he knows the answer. What did he say? I can't hear you. You got to yell. All right, part of it's neutrons. What's the other part? Protons and neutrons up here on the top. So if I want to... Good morning, and please pardon the interruption. I have the results of the class elections. Okay, now i got to remember where I was. Okay, so when we are going to find neutrons, I think that's what we were doing here. If this number is protons and neutrons, and this number is protons, how do I find neutrons? What mathematical operation am I going to do? Sean, what am I going to do? This is apples and oranges, and this is apples. How do I find oranges? 
Subtract them. Good. So 14 minus 7 is 7. 7 neutrons in this guy. 7 neutrons here with 7 protons. How many electrons, just so that we can clear that up? 7. Okay. All right. I'm moving on from this stuff in a few minutes, so hopefully you guys are getting it. Um, write the atomic symbol, symbol notation, that's this, for the two isotopes of uranium whose atomic number is 92. What's the symbol for uranium, Allison? U. And it has 92 protons. Its atomic number is 92. One isotope has 142 neutrons. So what number is going to go up here? Christina, do you know what number goes up here? I like it. I think it is 234 if my math is correct, right? 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 234.92. Now, the reason that this is um, 234 is because this is a mass number. It is equal to the protons, which is the atomic number, plus the number of neutrons. Now we'll just do the other one. Uranium still has 92 protons, but now it has 146, so this is going to be 238. The neutrons plus the protons. Okay? All right, number five. Do I have that on the next page? No. Okay, number five. Calculate the average atomic mass of the element of iron for the following data. The most important thing that you do is write the correct numerical setup. Usually the regions will not ask you to write the answer, they will ask you to write the correct numerical setup. Okay, you ready to rock and roll? Iron 54, we have 6%, so we're going to do 0 0.06 times the mass of iron. They didn't give us an actual mass, so I'm going to use the mass number which is 54. If they give us an actual atomic mass, please use the atomic mass. Plus, 92% becomes 0.92 times 56. Plus, 2% becomes 0 0.02 times 57. That's the correct numerical setup. Every once in a while, you're going to see it like this, and I have quizzes that's coming down the pike, probably Monday. 6 divided by 100 times 54 plus 92 divided by 100 times 56, and I ran out of room, or I'd do the last one, okay? So be careful with that. Sometimes they even do this. 6 times 54 plus 92 times 56 plus 2 times 57, all divided by 100. Same thing, okay? Be careful with that. Um, okay, 95%, check your work. You should have this done, no? Yes, maybe? Okay, you should have 0.95 times 14, plus 0 0.03 times 15, plus 0 0.02 times 16, and the answer that you should have gotten, I didn't write the answer for the other one down. What's the answer that we got for this one? Somebody give me a number while I look at my paper. Um, what'd you say? I can't hear you. I hear 0 .07, but I don't hear the... 14.07. Okay. Thank you. You got to yell at me. I can't hear. I'm deaf. I'm old. Okay, 14.07. Is that sound about right? Why does it sound about right? Most of the isotope is nitrogen-14. Okay? Any questions on average isotopic mass? You have to be able to do it. Okay?